Hello guys, I'm Draco and welcome to Dracoverse. Today's deck is gonna revolve around invisible women. Ongoing. Cards you play here are not revealed until the game ends. So the goal of the deck today is to play your invisible women on turn 2. Turn 3 you go for Lady Sif or Swordmaster. Turn 4 you go for Dracula or Jubilee. Turn 5 if you want you can skip or you can even go for Blade. And then on the final turn you play Hela on the invisible women location to push as much power as possible on the locations by discarding your infinart or uh, giganto or magneto the biggest problem to this deck is this deck comes down to rng and also this card right here cosmo ongoing on reveal abilities won't happen at this location and also this deck can push some power like crazy power but there is another deck that is really good versus this deck that is Silver Surfer deck. So if you're facing off against Silver Surfer deck, I think it would be better for you to actually like check the waters till turn 5. And then on turn 6, if you feel like they're really, really strong and they've got like so much power on the other lanes, it is wise to actually like skip or escape. Hope you guys like this deck. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video. Until then, signing off. Rackverse. But before that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it would be really, really helpful. We are facing off against a Batman. We do have our blade in the starting hand. So, except for Jubilee, if it hits any one of these, right, I am totally, totally fine because I think Jubilee is going to be our turn four play. I guess not. Mm -hmm. Okay, discards Giganto, uh, discards Ironheart, okay, which is huge for us. Okay, we do have Hela. Okay, we have Hela, which is like really, really big deal. That goes okay with Domino. Mm -hmm. uh, draw me my. Oh my God, that is so good. That is actually insanely good because of the fact that I can do this, and then I can nah. You know what? I can do this and then this. Yeah. So they would not be able to destroy my Infinite with a uh, Shangqi, which is actually really, really powerful. So we have discarded Jubilee and we have discarded Giganto. So we already have about quite a lot of power to be honest. Uh, we just need to make sure that Hela does not get discarded, that's all. That is Storm, I'm good with that. And that is Silver Surfer. Okay, this is, is this a bot? Wait, is this a bot by any chance? He just gave up his win condition. He just gave up his win condition. I'm gonna snap and then I'm gonna like end turn. Why would he play his silver? Maybe he has Odin? He just plays his Wong and then Odin? Like, I don't know. That is Killmonger. Okay, it does destroy that. I'm all good with that. So, turn 5, Odin. Okay, we just relax. And then on the final turn, nice. Nice, 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 nice. For the final turn, I think I just go for Hela here. Let's go. I think this I think this kind of wins me the game. That is Odin. Yeah, I knew I knew that was coming. I knew Odin was coming, okay. Okay, but still we win. We win here, guys, hundred percent. So that is Infinite. Yeah, that discards Odin. Mm -hmm. So wherever Giganto, that is okay, Odin. The Giganto in the middle, Jubilee pulls in Ward, which does discard the Hulk. Okay, let's go. That was cool and that was four easy cubes. Okay, guys, we are facing off against Ramza and we have Hela in the starting hand. We need to draw our invisible women, which would be really, really good, which we don't, but we can just Lady Sif. Uh, that is good, Daredevil. Okay. So we go for Lady Sif in the. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, he has zero. Okay, so we go for Lady Sif on the right. And then we go for Jubilee in the in the middle. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. If this hits like Hela, we might still have a chance of winning. Uh, with respect to like uh, Infinite and um, Magneto. So we can give up on turn 5 and then turn 6 we can just play Infinite. So that's a, that's a possibility. Thank God, okay. Okay, that is good. That is alright. That was bad. Uh, let's go for do i actually you know what 
I think I go for Dracula on the right. He did snap. I am okay with him snapping. Because he thinks that is my win condition, but that is actually like really, really not. That is Lady Sif, and that is okay. Okay, with Zero, I think he's gonna be playing a Red Skull. I think he's gonna be playing Red Skull. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play. Yeah, I'm oh no, I cannot, I cannot, can I? I'm gonna give up. I think I'm gonna give up this turn and then I can just like infinite the left and uh, hope for the best because if he plays his red skull right if he plays his red skull on the right we are gonna be in trouble uh, for the final turn so he has to play a card in the center and this one he got it from me so let's see what uh, my man has in store for us or I can just play my magneto I can just no. I must have played by Jubilee and Zero because Dracula might pull them, which might hit me in the gut. Yeah, that was a that was a misplay from my part. That was actually a huge, huge misplay from my part. No. But uh, let's see. Okay, that is Red Skull. Knew that. So Taskmaster might be coming into play. What I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna play my Infinite on the left. And then I'm going to hope that Dracula hits the Giganto or that is Taskmaster, which is 15. Yes. And then that is Sunspot. That is 20. And that is 12. And that is three cubes. Let's go. That is four free cubes. The good news about this deck is that even if Lady Sif or uh, your Blade discards your Hela, you have enough power on the final turn. To actually win i got really lucky that dracula hit um the magneto the mistake that i made here was i must have played my zero and jubilee on the center to make sure that i had only higher uh, power cards in my hand to so make sure you don't do the mistake that i do okay guys we are facing off against wands and we have savage land so savage land is where i think i'm going to play my hella so that is Nightcrawler, which is amazing. So here's a good like... Oh, wow, 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 wow. Actually, you know what? This is really good because we play our Jubilee here. Uh, and pushing a car, like, power here is like really huge. Okay, draw me my like... Draw me... Wow. Amazing start. Okay, that is really, really a good card. If this does not discard my Jubilee or Hella, we have a good chance of winning. But... Oh my god, that is like one and like, sorry, two and three, it's sorry, two and five, right? Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm all good with that. Yes, yes, please, please, please. Yeah, that was perfect. That was actually, actually perfect. So what we do is we go for this one in here. And then we just play our Hel Hela in the uh, left. Or if they play their Cosmo, right? If they if they play their Cosmo in the left, uh, we can just go for Hela in the middle. Uh, and we don't even uh, have to care about Death's Domain. That is Absorption Man, which is... Whoa, 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 wait, what? Huh, that's surprising, actually. So that pulls in my Dracula, which is really, really good. This one is 1 in 3. This one is like 1 in 3, which is so, so bad. He did snap, actually. He did snap. I'm going to take a huge risk of playing my blade. That one is octopus. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, the card that I draw right now is gonna be the win condition. The card that I draw right now, okay. Okay, so if he has a Shang-Chi, we lose. If he has a Shang-Chi, we lose. If he does not, we win. I don't know what, I'm just gonna leave it be. That is a Shang-Chi, yes. And that was, uh, that was good. Man, why does he have a Shang-Chi? Come on. Ouch. <laughs> that was like a good showcase that 
you can win games like 100 percent but when a location is locked out like this right it just makes it so uh, it's bad maybe if my hella got pulled right maybe if my hella got pulled and my hulk went onto the flooded path i think we had a chance of winning but it was all rng at this point okay guys we are facing off against a uh, komodo man and we do have Wow, we do have like, okay, I'm just gonna play my Magneto. I, I am just gonna play my Magneto. I feel like, yeah, that is just, that's it. That is Sunspot, which gives him a Dracula. Okay, and I have a Magneto right there. All good. Okay, cards are not revealed here until the end of the game. So, we don't have to actually go for Invisible Women. We can actually go for Blade and Lady Sif. Because cards are not revealed until the uh, game ends, so it's it's actually really, really good. Let's go with that. Okay, let's go with that. And then we go for Jubilee, right? I think we go for Jubilee. Um, let's go for Jubilee here. Unless it hits Hella, right? We are in such an amazing, amazing spot. Just not Hella. Which is Hella, okay. So on the final turn, I think I give up. So this one is Blade and this one is Lady Sif. I might actually lose here. That is Lady Sif, which discards death. Mm -hmm. And that is Sunspot. Perfect. I think what I do is, I go for Dracula on the right, and then I go for Invisible Woman on this. I think this is the best I can do. Well, yeah, that is the win. Let's go. If, if Jubilee did not pull Hela, and if I was able to draw Hela by myself, right, this was not the play. I would have just played my Hela on the final turn. So I would have discarded like two powerful cards such as Hulk or Giganto. And then I would have like played Hela, which would have given me so much power on board. And it was a good thing I played my Magneto early on. And he low rolled with the uh, Lockjaw. Okay guys, we are facing off against IQYY. We have Invisible Woman with uh, Lady Sylv. We just need to draw our um, Hela and okay, hmm. that is Ultron, wait a minute, wait a, wait a minute, wait, he has actually logged off every location, okay, he has actually logged off every loca every other location, so the cards that he can play is only here, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay, let's go for, I just need my Hela, that's all, I, I just need my Hela, that's all. So we go for Swordmaster right there. Uh, is he going to play his Patriot? He is not. Which does put okay. That is pretty good. <laughs> uh, that is my Swordmaster. So what I can do is I can actually... If I want, I could go for uh, this one right here. But, but it's going to discard. Do I just go for extra power on the right Okay, I think I do, right? I think I just go for this. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Okay. We just need to draw our Hela. That's all. We just need to draw our Hela and we are good. So that is Captain America. Uh, that is Giganto. Okay. We skip. And that is Klon. Okay. Hela, Hela, Hela. Come on, come on, come on. Hela. Hulk. Hmm. 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 Okay. If I play my Hulk here, right? If I play my Hulk here, how much power is that? That is 20 power and he can only play his cards here. So I think it is better to go for the Hulk here, which is going to be 13 power, which I think might help me win. But if he has blue Marvel, okay, which he does, uh, how close am I to winning? Uh, I am winning. Let's go. Wow, that was actually really, really close. That was actually really, really close. Wow, I just love this deck. Even without Hela, right, you can push some crazy power, which is absurd. Hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video. Until then, signing off, Dracoverse.